Hello guys. This morning was very bad for me and for all Ukraine because of heavy missile attacks on Kyiv, Kharkiv and many other regions, killing people, including children. And the world is getting used to that. But for every action, there is a reaction. This very important message was sent back to Russia by Ukrainian armed forces and sounded as explosions, not just in Belgorod, but also really far away inside Russian Federation, in Izhevsk. But what is more important, on the extremely valuable military plant capable of producing intercontinental ballistic missiles and details for nuclear warheads. This is huge. And I'm proud that my country, Ukraine, is not afraid of Russia and we will finish this evil regime. Let me tell you more in this video. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda and fake news. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. So for Ukraine, this day was sad. Heavy missile attacks, including Kyiv, Kharkiv and many other regions. And lots of really sad stories that Facebook and Instagram will blur, but my memory won't. Same as the memory of millions of Ukrainians that are daily bombed, killed, tortured. And there are so many global leaders who doubt whether we should support Ukraine. This is very painful. Also, it's painful to observe how many are still afraid of Russia when Ukrainians are not. And just look at how we answer on their missile attacks. And this is a new rule that Russia has to understand. After every attack on Ukraine, there will be an answer. And today this answer is huge. So we have confirmation of very loud and destructive explosions on the plant that has a name Watkins Machine Building Plant that has civilian and military tasks. But at the moment, it fully works for the production of intercontinental missiles Topol-M and Iskander. Iskander is a bad word. We know it because with such missiles, they also target Ukraine. And these explosions ruin the facilities of Russia. What is also worth mentioning and what makes me super proud, this plant also produces uh, elements needed for the nuclear warheads with which Russia loves to threaten the world, not just Ukraine, but once again, many democracies all over the world. And look how quickly they burn. Perhaps someone smokes again on a very important Russian plant. Plant that produces intercontinental ballistic missiles and details for nuclear warheads. I'm repeating it because I'm tasting this news. I really love that. Remember to subscribe to support Ukraine and to see more of such events on the way to the victory, to the victory of Ukraine and the democratic world. Uh, what is also important, even on the web page of this plant, uh, for the 2023 uh, results, they have published 19 contracts on the production of components needed for nuclear weapons. 19 contracts that they have accomplished in 2023, but oops, they won't be able to continue doing that in 2024. Why? Because Ukraine and Ukrainian armed forces are not afraid. I know that many of you good people love learning more about Russian geography based on the locations of explosions there. So today it was Izhevsk and Izhevsk is really far away even from Moscow, more than a thousand kilometers, more than a thousand miles even. This is uh, in the Republic of Udmurtia. By the way, we have a really good video about the future dissolution of Russia, which tells about this republic. It has a great potential to be free and independent, and you can learn more about it in the video. Uh, but it is also full of various military, industrial uh, plants and factories, but minus one, and minus huge one, a plant 
that produces intercontinental ballistic missiles. So once again, when Ukraine destroys such facilities, uh, it is an investment that you support Ukraine because we support global peace. And believe me, uh, sacrificing Ukraine, we cannot live normally again because Russia is a monster that has tasted human blood and it will continue if it is not stopped. And we are really good at stopping now. Just look at these explosions. It was also really loud in Belgorod. Belgorod is a city that knows what war is already. It is on the border with Ukraine. It is also a city heavily um, pressed with various Russian military objects. Uh, a city that knows what air raid alerts are, and a city that perhaps has huge doubts about the news that Russian TV shows saying that special military operation is super successful because they kind of see a different thing happening, that special military operation from Ukraine seems to be more successful. And one of their industrial complexes was also targeted. Uh, they constructed uh, special bus stops that are also bomb shelters, absurd. And uh, when I looked at these photos uh, in the Telegram channels, uh, people say uh, in Belgoro that these bus stops with sand sacks, reminds me Ukraine, um, they are very uh, dangerous, even more dangerous. Like we do not use bus stops to hide from uh, missiles. It's a bad choice. But in Russia, that's the way they care for people. And sand sacks, they are everywhere on Ukrainian streets, in the windows, uh, securing the monuments. And who could have thought similar constructions will be needed in Russia? But that's how we work. And once again, the most important message for every action, there is a reaction. And another important message, please don't be afraid of Russia. We all remember how at the beginning of invasion they threatened us, telling that if something ever explodes on the territory of Russian Federation, missile nuclear attacks on all the centers in the world, and of course Ukraine, and now there are so many explosions. You've learned so many new locations inside Russia because of these destructions, and now uh, the huge plant that produces intercontinental missiles and components for nuclear weapons is on fire and nothing will happen. They will try continue buying people, inviting Tucker Carlson and other to push the world to make Ukraine negotiate when Ukraine is actually winning. So please, let's stay united and finish this war on our conditions, on the conditions of the democratic world. I am proud to be Ukrainian today. Of course, Russians said that it was an accident on that plant. Yeah, of course, everything is an accident. Putin as a president of Russia is an accident. Uh, but uh, they said it was testing that went wrong. So all special military operation of Russia in Ukraine was testing that went really wrong. And the results of the test showed that it is Russia, which is a failure and a loser and a bully. Thank you so much for your support and understanding. Thank you for buying me coffees and becoming my patrons. I love you very much and I'm super grateful that you are in my life and in life of my country. We value that a lot and especially in these hard days, uh, it helps. Uh, thank you so much. Remember to subscribe to my Instagram, threads, Twitter, join my Discord community, check our merch shop and all the links that you need are in the description of this video. But most importantly, let's stand united and we can win. So we must win. Slava Ukraini!